Yo everybody, what's up? It's DJ Don with The Buzz with DJ Don and Cherished Memories DJ. And today, I got a story about a guy and his dog. It's kind of an unfortunate story, but stick around. So the story is about a man named Rusty. Rusty is an Asheville native and started a moving company pretty much from the ground up. Um, he had a little bit of trouble getting a job based on his criminal background. He cleaned up his life. He was trying to get work and he absolutely was having a hard time doing that. And I saw this guy, Rusty, build a moving company from the ground up. He got a truck, he got two trucks, got a couple of workers. And there's a lot of people in Asheville that really, really, really love Rusty. He's got a dog, Driffa, and, and they do this moving thing around Asheville. So, Recently, Rusty took a job out in Colorado for a renowned psychologist, a really famous, for lack of a better word, psychologist, because she's actually been in magazines and stuff, and drove all the way out there, out to, to Colorado, to move this doctor and her belongings from Asheville to Colorado. It took like a week and it was even holiday weekend. We just had MLK on Monday, so he moved over holiday weekend. And the entire country was experiencing very, very high temperature, very, very low temperatures at that time. So Rusty and his hired help unloaded a large moving truck full of her belongings. And when it came time to get paid, she presented him with a personal check and... It was the beginning of a holiday weekend. He couldn't do anything with the personal check. He had to wait till Tuesday. But he found out when he got back to North Carolina and tried to cash the check that this lady had put a stop payment on an almost $6,000 check. Now, basically, he had used every bit of money that he could come up with to get out there, to take her stuff, to live when he was there, eat this and that, and come back. And now he has this check that the bank just told him was basically worthless. So Rusty reached out to the lady, and they had some words, but she ultimately agreed to wire the payment to Rusty no later than 5 p.m. yesterday. And as of this date, right now, Mr. Rusty still has not been paid. So today, on January 23rd, I personally saw two messages. One from Rusty's landlord, saying he has to pay his rent today. And another from the place he bought his truck from, saying he has to turn the truck back over to them since he can't make a payment today. So today was supposed to be the day that he got paid for all of his hard work for moving this doctor out to Colorado and he was going to take care of all his financial obligations. And madam, sorry to say, but you ruined it for him. So today, Rusty contacted the lady by phone. And this is what she had to say. This is the last call I'll ever take from you, okay? All right, I just need to know because people are wanting me to turn my truck in. My landlord's I, my I, don't care. I got all of these things going on, man. No, and I did this I don't all the way to Colorado I, for you, and you just don't care enough Rusty, about anyone. But I yourself. had I had it ready to go this morning. Okay, well, why isn't it on my account? I need that it, money as soon as possible so I that I don't get you, screwed. I would, it would be there tomorrow. You are impatient. It's not that I'm I impatient. I just can't turn my truck in. I don't have anything I, else to listen, drive. I'm screwed I, I'm if I don't get this for money you right now. I, I know you're not, you, and I understand that I, you don't feel for me, okay, but I did my best to get your thing me, all the way to Colorado, I'm man. I'm this is threats, okay? But I, I've had it. I've had I, it. I'm, I'm at my last end, too, so, man, because I've so been over backwards to get your thing to Colorado, and I can't even do get my money. whatever you want to do. I'm just going to get a restraining order, and I'm going to do what I need to do, okay? Yeah, because I understand, I, man. I've had it. The I have had bad it. Bad for you. Uh, bad for me? I'm getting calls all morning again. Well, man, this you is, haven't paid me. I have people to go like care work. about me. You know, they, I they, don't care. Care. they don't care about you because you're not going to get money. 
I understand yes. I'm not going to get money. I made it all the way across yeah. the country with your things for nothing, and I'm going to lose no, everything for it. You're you know, not going to get it. And you just don't care, and I get it. Because you, you <laughs> have, you have ruined, uh, tried to ruin my career. I'm very That's sorry about that, ma'am, and, and I feel like you tried to ruin and my you career. And I had, you and I had a deal yesterday. Yeah, we did. I, you were going to pay me five thousand dollars by five p.m. yesterday. Yes. I, I told all the people that I owe that I was going to have five thousand dollars by five p.m. yesterday. And Here it we is. We'll never talk again. Okay. I will never talk again with, with you. Yes, this was I'm, our last call. All right. I'm okay. saying it's our last so call. This, this is my last you, chance this, to save my life and everything that is, I own. This is your. I this is it. your. This is. I don't care. This right. is. I know you. I, I talked to the bank last night at about nine thirty, and they said. It was better for me to go through the bank today to wire it. It's more likely that oh. you would get it today. All I'm asking so you for, man, is an EPA saying, so I can tell I the asked, people that I owe. Just That's listen, all I'm God for. damn it! Just listen. So I had an 8:30 and a 9:30. I was going to wire you money, but I am not going to now. So you lose. This I stuff was. continues. <laughs> I told you to stop it. Ma'am, I've done everything I can to help you, and I made it all the way across stop the country it. with your thing. You haven't done everything. That you, you've ruined me. I so, have. I'm very sorry, okay, ma'am. Okay, call's over. Call is over. So I'm going to get the restraining order. It's a hassle, but I'm going to get it. And I don't care what happens if you want to take me to civil court for money. So I'm not going to get paid right. at all or anything. No, because of what's happening now. You, okay. you didn't call. You, you. I don't trust you to even apologize. Ma'am, I've apologized to you, you multiple all. times. I'm very no, sorry that, that all this happened. My I told employer. you I would call and, and apologize to your employer. You. I, I just feel like you. I just feel like you're blackmailing me if I don't call I'm and apologize not. to your employer. I'm not that kind well, then, of person. Then send me my money and prove it, please, no, so I don't I'm lose everything, ma'am. I've would. been I've been over backwards to get your things to Colorado. Please stop. All right, this call is recorded. So I also talked to Rusty today, who actually declined any kind of fundraising efforts that I offered him. So if you want to help, hire Rusty for your moving or junk removal needs. Feel free to text me or call me at 828-226-2903 to offer your kind words and support. As always, be sure to visit CherishedMemoriesDJ.com for all of your wedding and event needs. And be sure to share this video. Rusty, we're pulling for you, bro. Call me later. Let's chat. Let's tell your side of the story. Talk to you soon. Peace.